Flutter 2.0 and Dart 2.12 is now in stable channel. Ubuntu OS installer will be in Flutter. We have now the Google Mobile Ads SDK in Flutter beta channel. And also Flutter foldable devices are now supported for Flutter. My name is Max and this are the Flutter news. On Wednesday, the 3rd of March of 2021, the Flutter Engage Day, we had the arrival of Flutter 2.0. In Flutter 2.0, the Flutter team was able to um, close more than 5,000 issues, more than 4,000 PRs have been merged, and over 290 contributors worked on Flutter 2.0. Flutter Web is now finally in stable channel. That means it is giving the message to everyone that web can be used for production apps. Fantastically. Also arrived Windows, Linux and Mac OS inside of the stable channel as an early release flag, which means just that the final stable release will come at the end of the year. Beta snapshot is it called inside of the Medium article. Maybe this is the best way to talk about it. Besides of that, it is also possible to embed Flutter now inside of different systems. This is what Toyota showed us inside of the showcase, where they showed us their infotainment system, which now is integrated with Flutter to get the full potential of Flutter inside of the Toyota cars. In order to show how far the Flutter team has become with the web, they introduced two examples. Number one is from the iRoomba learning and education platform that they created for children, a platform to learn coding with Flutter. The whole thing is available in the web and you can show it to your nieces and nephews or your children to teach them how to code. And the best thing is you can move a Roomba around and see how the Roomba behaves. The de second demo is called a flutterplasma.dev. It is a website where just like kind of a video is showing, but all of that are Flutter elements and show the performance of Flutter in different web browsers. So you can run it in Safari, Mozilla, Chrome, Edge, whatever you like, and everywhere the performance is nearly as good as in desktop. Besides of all that, with Flutter Web Stable, which is a lot of marketing stuff, which is fantastic that we have it, we as developers have also some upgrades. For first, we get now quick fixes. My favorite tool for this, uh, I think, announcement was quick fixes because we are now able inside of the IDE with a very easy approach to remove deprecation stuff and directly get fixes from the Flutter team. This is also possible in the CLI, so check out the link down in the video description below to get more information. And besides of that, we have also the possibility if we get the red screen of death or for example the yellow and black bars that we all like because we uh, somewhere crossed our uh, renderer, now we have the possibility to jump directly into the dev tools and inspect the element there. With that we have a bit more flexibility and it is not any more necessary to start up the whole dev tools, wait a long time to get started with the error and fix it. For Dart 2.12, we have a lot of information. Like for example, sound nail safety is now finally released. Additionally, also Dart FFI is now out of the beta and inside of stable. So Michael Thompson released a Flutter article where he announced these two things. And also he showed us how we can implement and migrate our non-null safety systems to a sound null safety system. Additionally to that, he also introduced us to Dart FFI, which is an interop possibility for C and other programming language. And so this one is now also unstable and ready to use for your services. So thanks for all the work in Dart 2.12. It is fantastic to see there are more progress. Additionally to that, there are also some information about new challenges that the Dart team is searching. At the moment, they are trying to work on possible work projects that could be, for example, typing aliases, triple shift operator, generic metadata, and what was the last thing? Static meta programming. So if you want to know more down in the video description, you will find the links to the Medium article. Ken Van Dyne, engineering manager of Canonial, who is re most responsible for Ubuntu, announced 
that we will have in the future a Ubuntu OS installer in Flutter. Why is this so important? Because it is the first impression that the people get from Ubuntu and with that they also show how reliable and important Flutter is to their ecosystem. Additionally, he announced that all the future applications that are developed for Ubuntu will be Flutter applications. With that, Ubuntu shows really how much appreciation and trust they have regarding to Flutter and this is very important for all of us. Everyone who is monetizing their Flutter apps at the moment with advertisements will know the struggle with the Flutter banners and advertisement banners. So thanks to a new package that arrived, the Google Mobile Ads, it is now possible to have way more control over the different parts and you are now able to create your banners, terrestrials and more to generate as much revenue as possible. So thanks to the Flutter team, we have now the possibility to include this into our applications with ease. In order to enable all of us to use mobile phones that are foldable, Microsoft and the Flutter team combined their powers now to show everyone that you can create stunning Flutter apps for foldable devices. There comes some additional functionality like for example checking out in which foldable status the smartphone is at the moment and last but not least how you can integrate your Flutter apps. Additionally, there is a Flutter emulator for that, so um, check that out if you are interested. Of course, this is just everything that I told you right now, it's just the tip of the iceberg. If you are interested in a more detailed look, check out the links down in the video description below. And if you are interested in seeing more of them, hit the subscribe button and let you notified. Thank you so much for joining today and see you the next time. Bye.